Hello guys, this is Silvio from Solitronics. Um, today I want to discuss something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to be talking about machines, uh, specifically uh, gears. And uh, because despite that I run an electronics company, and I'm an, uh, I am an electronics engineer and technician, um, I, I also like to do machine shop. And um, two of my favorite machines are obviously the lathe which I have a mini lathe and I also have a mini milling machine so one day I was uh, contemplating on making some gears for my um, my mini mill uh, mini lathe and because I, I wanted to be able to cut some threads and um, I just wanted to buy the set of uh, gears that comes with my lathe but for a set of nine gears for my lathe, it's uh, costing me close to about $190 to over $200 with tax. So I decided maybe I'm going to try and make my own gears. But instead of going to find some formulas for gear dimensions, you know, how to work it out, I decided to try it on my own. And uh, I'm pretty good at math, you know, because I know a lot of formulas and uh, I do do electronics, physics, and um, I am very good at math. And I figured, uh, let me try, let me try something here, some uh, formulas that I'm familiar with and uh, let me see if it works. So what I did was I was thinking, well, first of all, to cut a gear, you need a gear blank or you need a blank, you need a cylinder. And uh, or a disc, and um, I guess we got to start with the diameter of the disc. So, and the amount of the amount of teeth that I want on that disc, and how far apart the uh, the space is supposed to be between each tooth. So I'll give you an example. An example is let's say let's say on on a gears uh, you're gonna have your teeth right on gears. And the space between each tooth, let's say from there to there, uh, you can pick your own space, whatever you want. So in my case, I'm going to pick, let's say, a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch, or uh, in decimal form, that would be uh, 0.25 inches. So that would be my space, okay? And... Uh, now, uh, the amount of teeth that I want on a disc all the way around, okay, if the teeth are a, qu a quarter inch apart, um, but let's say the total amount of teeth I want is uh, around this particular disc is, uh, I don't know, a random number, a weird number, let's pick uh, 110 teeth. That's not a very standard uh, number, but nevertheless, we'll work with that. So the number of teeth is 110, and the, the space between each tooth is a quarter inch. So now I need to find the diameter. What diameter do I need based on those specs? So to find the diameter, what you need to do is, um, is you need to find out what the circumference would be. Okay, the circumference, what the circumference is, is, is the distance between a starting point of a disc and you go all the way around, okay, and you measure that distance from starting point to starting point going all the way around the disc. This is called circumference. So, in order to find a circumference for this uh, gear blank, with 110 teeth at a quarter inch spacing between each tooth, you basically just multiply them together. So that would be, the circumference would be 0 0.25, 0 0.25, which is the space, uh, times 110 teeth. So that would equal um, 2.25. Seven five. Okay, so that would be the circumference. Two point seven five. Uh, sorry, it's not two point seven five. It's twenty seven point five 
inches. All right, so that's the amount of distance between around the disc, given that amount of teeth with that space in between the tooth. So to find the diameter, the diameter would be is equal to the circumference. I'll just put it in short form like that. Circumference divided by uh, pi. Okay. Now pi is equal to 3.14. So this formula would be um, 27.5 divided by 3.14 and that equals 8.75 inches. So the diameter of this disc here between one end to the other would be 8.75 inches. Now what that basically means is that when my disc is eight and three quarter inch diameter, I can get 110 teeth all the way around the disc equally, and each tooth on the disc should be spaced one quarter inch apart from each other. Okay? So that's what it means. Now, if you want to confirm all this, you could change this formula around. So, for example, to find the number of teeth, okay, number of teeth that you would need, or that you could put on a on a on a blank, um, you would have to take the circumference, the circumference, which in this case would be twenty seven point five. Okay, divided by divided by the space uh, between the teeth, which is 0.25. So uh, this would be circumference, and this would be teeth space. And that would equal approximately 110 teeth which is what I have originally, okay? Just by s flipping this formula around. To find the diameter, we had to divide the circumference uh, by pi. And to find the number of teeth, we had to divide the circumference by the number of teeth, okay? And, or sorry, the circumference divided by the spacing between the teeth. Now, if you wanted to find the space between the teeth, for example, space between each tooth of a gear, of a, of a, of a gear blank, Then the formula would be um, would be the number of teeth, okay, number of teeth that you would need, which in my case would be 110, um, and that would be divided into the circumference which in my case would be 27.5. So, uh, if you do that, if you do that formula, that would equal approximately 0.25 inches or one quarter inch between each tooth. Between each tooth. So, you can see all these numbers, they work out for making a tooth gear. Now, um, the only problem this doesn't solve is what they call dimetral pitch. Okay, dimetral pitch is, I believe, is the still the spacing uh, between the tooth or the or the angle of the tooth 
the, the, the only thing that this doesn't do, this form, these formulas, is determine the uh, depth of each tooth. For example, from one tooth down to the bottom of the disc, you know, where you're going to cut it. does not determine that distance right there. That's another topic in itself. But anyways, this is basically how I figured out how to make gears. Very simple. So the diameter, the formulas are actually, you need to know either a uh, number of teeth that you want number of teeth uh, the space space that you need between each teeth space between teeth space between teeth and you would need to know uh, and from there um, you can figure out diameter you can figure out circumference and uh, and that's it, and that's all you need to figure out the um, the, uh, the uh, parameters of what you would need to cut a gear. Okay, and you can cut this on metal, steel, aluminum, wood, whatever you whatever you need, and uh, it works very well. So there you go. You guys uh, can certainly try this. If not, you can always refer back to your. Um, machine handbook that's available at the bookstores and uh, refer to that because they're they're much more precise I think that this is just generalized here and it works very very well for me and it is very precise actually because it cuts the it gives you the exact dimensions for the exact amount of teeth that you need on a blank and uh, it also calculates the space between each tooth that is required okay to get all the teeth evenly around the blank so this actually works very well so you guys are welcome to try it there you go and I guess I'll catch you next time. Okay, thank you very much, guys. And don't forget to subscribe, please, and I'll keep these videos coming. And uh, uh, obviously, if I, I, I'm going to try and make more elaborate videos based on my business. You know, some, some machine shop stuff and some electronic stuff. Uh, and I have a lot of projects that I'm, uh, I'm currently involved with. And I'm just trying to finalize or see what the result is. And before I start posting any more videos, it is a lot of work to do, and plus I need to devote time to make these videos. And I would really appreciate, uh, you, you know, if you can, uh, if you want to subscribe to me, I'll keep them coming. And if you're interested in stuff that I do, then please, uh, uh, please subscribe, give a like, and um, and I guess we'll catch you next time. And I'll try my best to keep everybody happy, okay, and informed. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Have a nice day, and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.